I'm Katie Carefoot. I'm a product owner at Farmer's Edge and I'm here to talk to you today about egg PhD soils and using the map to draw your field borders. So this is the steps for drawing your fields on the map in egg PhD soils web. What I need to do then to draw my field borders, I need to select the season that I'd entered the field in, select the farm that I had entered that field in, and then I have to go to my demo field. Once I have this field selected, I can either upload a border, which would be a shapefile border, which consists of a .shx, a .shp, and a .dbf file. If I have a border, I could drag and drop into here, or I could click here and search my computer to add files. To create a field on the map, what I can do is click Edit Field, and my tools for creating a border will show up here on the right-hand side of the map screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually search for a location where my, my field is close to so that I can border it. So what I can do is I can search for a city or for a, a lat long and I can type it in here and it will search for me. So you, if you do know a lat long, you can type it in here. So type it in as you see it on the screen here. Because I'm in Winnipeg, I'm going to search for my city here and it will zoom me right to my city on the map. So what I'm going to do is go back to the Farms and Fields tab and I'm going to add my field border. So I'm going to go to my field that is outside Winnipeg here and I'm going to edit my field. So the drawing tools are on the right hand side of your screen. To start a geometry, so a polygon for your field, you can either select a polygon or a circle. So if you're drawing a pivot, you can use the circle tool to draw a rounded border. To draw a polygon, you click on the draw polygon and what you can do is just click on the screen to start the polygon. So each small vertices will be a corner of the field. You can move around the areas, you can zoom in quite far to get your border to be a little bit more detailed around the corners of your field. To finish the polygon, I double click and it does change red. What then I need to do is I need to label it and I can provide a description if I want. What I would do then is I would hit save. To edit this field now, if I wanted to, I would click on this and hit edit and I would go back into the field. There is some adjustment tools that you can make so you can split the field, you can cut the field and you can actually stamp. So if you're working on a dry land corner of a pivot, you would be able to stamp the pivot part out and just have the corners of the field. So I'm going to use this cut feature. What you have to do is you will have to start at the very edge of the border, then create your polygon within the field. And once you have it connected, then what you would do is click the finish, the check mark, and it will remove that area from the, from the field border. If I want to stamp the field and remove a small area in the middle of the field, if it's a, a pivot or um, something else that I'd want to with the circle stamp, what I do is I select and place the circle on the screen and then I use the small vertices to make the shape bigger or smaller. Once I'm done that, I click the check mark button and it finishes it.